A train derails in DeKalb County. Tonight, reaction from people who heard it happen. Wayne 15's Britt Soleil is now live at the scene. So, Britt, tell us what happened. Dirk Alyssa, I'm here southwest of our Auburn on County Road 46, where, as you said, a train derailed this morning. Crews are still out here cleaning it up. I'll step aside so you can take a look behind me. Although this happened several hours ago, you can see the train is still very much off the tracks. Uh, cars are stacked on top of each other and moved off on the side. So this will likely take a few more hours for them to clean up. They have trucks coming in and out of the roadway here as well. So this road is shut down for the time being. According to CSX, there's not been any injuries or spills from this, but because there's several cars off the road, they've had to get in here and even knock down some trees here. Uh, neighbors were home at the time of the crash. They say they didn't immediately realize how bad it was, but it didn't take them long to figure it out. As I've seen a bunch of white smoke, sometimes I watch the trains when they go by, and, and when it cleared up, then I saw this. Okay, I was at just in my home, which is about 100 yards away from the tracks here, and I heard a loud, loud boom, windows rattled, and I thought, oh, that's a little louder than normal, so I looked out the window, the train was still moving, so I didn't think it was anything, uh, a real big deal. They just dumped some gravel here, if you can see from this dump truck, likely to make it easier for cars to get in and out some of this heavy equipment that they're bringing in here. And some of this will cause some damage to the property here. Uh, that last neighbor we heard from, one of her neighbors actually came by and told her to look out her window so she could see how bad it was. And she will have some property damage from that coming up tonight at 6. Hear from her about what exactly that kind of damage will be. Live in DeKalb County, Britt Soleil, Wayne 15 News. A train derailed in DeKalb County and crews still on the scene tonight cleaning up the wreckage. So once they're done, some property owners will have their own work to do. Wayne 15's Britt Soleil is at one of those properties now. Britt? Dirk, Alyssa, I'm here on a property off of County Road 35 that actually backs right up to where the train derailed. Now, this derailment happened around 10:15 this morning, a little southwest of Auburn. And in the past eight hours, not much here has changed. Cars are still toppled over. Some of these cars are double stacked as well, so some of them have gotten a little dented around the edges, and they've fallen off of the tracks onto trees and brush. So right now, crews are on the other side of this. They've taken out some trees, laid down gravel to get that heavy machinery here and they have a lot of work ahead of them before they can get this stuff out of here and of course once this stuff is actually out of here the property owners who live here will have their own mess to clean up as well could have been worse luckily nobody was hurt and no chemicals or anything were spilled so I mean it's bad but it could have been worse I do have a fence row there and it'll probably have to be replaced. My neighbor does the hay field here, and he's going to lose a little bit back there in that corner, but hopefully he'll be able to get most of it out. And again, this cleanup will likely take a few more hours. As of now, they've not even taken one car off the track. The train that was attached to this has been detached, and it's moved on. And so what's left to go from here is just this stuff out of here. Now keep in mind, because of that, there are roads that are closed. There's also some traffic crossings, railroad crossings. We don't know how long those will be in this area. Just be aware you might have to find an alternate route. Reporting live in DeKalb County, Britt Soleil, Wayne 15 News. Crews still cleaning up wreckage from a train derailment more than 13 hours after it went off the tracks. We've been following this story since it happened shortly after 10 o'clock this morning. Wayne 15's Britt Soleil continues our coverage live from DeKalb County. Britt, what's the scene like now? Dirk Alyssa, I'm out here on County Road 46A, still closed to traffic as crews are out here working. Now they have work vehicles and semi trucks lining to help them do this job. So we're seeing very little traffic coming down these roads and even less traffic on the railroad over here as it's still closed. Neighbors told us earlier that trains usually on a normal day would come down several times per hour, but for the past 13 hours now, nothing as crews work to clean this up. We've been here since 1986, 
Like I said, this is the first derailment. 12 freight train cars toppled over on their sides and piled up after a train derailed along County Road 46A around 10:15 this morning, shocking the people who live nearby. I was at just in my home, which is about 100 yards away from the tracks here, and I heard a loud, loud boom. Windows rattled, and I thought, oh, that's a little louder than normal. So I looked out the window. The train was still moving. So I didn't think it was anything a Unusual. real big deal. Yeah. yeah. I've seen a bunch of white smoke. Sometimes I watch the trains when they go by. And when it cleared up, then I saw this. No one was hurt and no chemicals were spilled, but the train cars took out trees and other brush along the tracks. Crews have spent hours cleaning up the wreckage, and once they're done, more work lies ahead for those whose property touches the wreckage. I do have a fence row there, and it'll probably have to be replaced. Hopefully, the railroad will step up and do that for me. My neighbor does the hay field here, and he's going to lose a little bit back there in that corner, but hopefully he'll be able to get most of it out. No word yet on what caused the train to go off the tracks. And as of now, we're also not sure exactly how much of this wreckage they've been able to clear after 13 hours. This is about as close as, we, as we've gotten to that. Um, we've reached out to CSX for more information and we'll keep you updated with the latest over on Wayne.com. Reporting live in DeKalb County, Britt Soleil, Wayne 15 News.